We'll start with the Mustar C49S size 10. This is a super quick but effective caddy slava. We've got a 4mm tungsten bead on there. I've got UTC 70 fluorescent green. So we'll just start at the head and apply a little tying thread. Go a little ways back, remove that. I've got about 10 15 hairs of olive dyed moose mane, which will just tack in there. I want to keep these on top of the hook shank. And we go down. Keep your flying tie thread, uh, thread uh, flat. Work our way down into the bend. And then we we'll go back up. Pull all this down. Build up a nice tapered body. I'll just turn the vise that way. Then I've got a length of flat copper wire. Go up to the top there and then we'll go back down. Right into the base of the moose mane and then I've got some this is uh, Veniard uh, ultra lace tubing one millimeter lime so we've got a length of that and we just take this and lock it in there on top and go up and want to pull that down Turn him over, lock it off, and then what we do is we just go over that body again, tight down right into the, you can stretch it here a little at the tail, right into the moose mane again, lock it off, and then we'll go back up, working on that taper all the time, finish off there. And we want to stretch our ultra lace tubing at the beginning there. And then as we go up, we can relax it. So it adds to that taper again. And we'll stop there. Lock it off. Remove that. I'll just put one whip finish in there. Hang my tying thread out the way. And then we take the moose main. I want to leave the copper wire behind. Like so. We take the moose main. Straighten it out. Come around with a couple of wire. Keep the moose man on top of the hook shank. You can use, if you don't have moose, uh, moose men, you can use bucktail. And we go over. And up. Get one more in there. I'll just 
fold that out of the way and we'll give it a couple of wraps of copper wire in there. Get our tying thread back, Let's wind it up and then we'll just secure that copper wire break it off secure the moose main trim them off spin our tying thread anti-clockwise split it take some eye stub black just like that point through a little bit more Spin it up, and then we can wrap the collar, go forward, pull everything back. Whip finisher. couple of whip finishes right behind the bead tighten it up remove the tying thread give it a brush we want this to kind of veil the body pull out any stragglers and then what we do is we take it out, turn it this way, we take our head cement and we put a drop right on the eye and watch it disappear under the bead. And once it stops disappearing under the bead, you can give it a little help by just putting a needle in that and opening it. There we go. We can prick out the varnish in the eye and that will soak in through the bead and really give it a good solid head. We can turn it around again. And that's the finished caddis pooper. If you enjoy the videos, please like, share, subscribe and thanks for watching.